5 Bad Habits That Cause Joint Pain Method 1. Being Overweight or Obese People who are overweight or obese are more likely to develop arthritis. Way, your knees have 4 pounds of stress on them. Extra weight also burdens joints in your hips, back, and feet. Additional weight places increased strain and wear and tear on your joints. In addition to the physical stress that increased weight places on joints, fat secretes inflammatory chemicals that may also cause joint pain and increase the risk of arthritis and other chronic conditions. Some types of inflammatory molecules may promote the development of osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, two conditions that affect joints. Where cartilage is damaged in the affected joints. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition where the immune system attacks and damages joints. Method 2. Wearing high heels. High heels place your feet in an awkward position that stresses joints, strains muscles, and can throw your back out of alignment. Wearing heels makes your thigh muscles work harder to keep your knees straight. It also places dangerous twisting forces on your knees. Women who wear heels daily may increase their risk of developing osteoarthritis and foot pain. High heels, sandals, and slippers are considered poor shoes because they provide inadequate support for feet. Swap high heels and other poor shoe styles for supportive walking shoes or sneakers to keep foot, knee, and back pain at bay. Method 3. Being a stomach sleeper. You may snore less when you sleep on your stomach instead of on your back, but the rest of your body may suffer. People who sleep on their stomachs have to twist their heads and necks to the side. This, in turn, places stress on nerves. It also compresses your spine, leading to awkward spinal alignment. You want to sleep in a neutral position so that your head and neck are in a straight line with your spine to reduce the risk of strain on your back, neck, and muscles. Avoid sleeping on your stomach. Switch to sleeping on your side or back. Look for special pillows for side sleepers and back sleepers that promote healthy spine alignment. Method 4. Neglecting strength training. After the age of 40, bones begin to become a little thinner. They are also more likely to break. Strength training, or resistance training, increases bone mineral density by approximately 1 to 3%. Working out with weights stresses bone and triggers the growth of new bone. It also slows the rate of bone loss. The combination of strong muscles and dense bones leads to increased joint stability. This, in turn, makes it less likely that you will suffer injuries. Check with your doctor before starting a strength training program for the first time, especially if you suffer from arthritis pain, knee pain, or back pain. You want to make sure you have medical clearance from your physician before beginning an exercise program. Method 5. Smoking and Tobacco Use Tobacco products are not good for any part of you and that includes your joints. Nicotine decreases blood flow to bones, tissues, and discs in your spine that provide cushioning between vertebrae. Nicotine decreases calcium absorption. Tobacco use also interferes with estrogen in the body. Women need estrogen to maintain healthy bones. Smoking cigarettes inhibits the formation of new bone, so bones are not as dense as they could be if a person did not use tobacco. All of this results in joints that are weaker than they should be and includes an increased possibility of suffering from a broken hip or other joint injury. Another reason to quit smoking, tobacco use depresses the function of the immune system.